That developing story in South Brunswick, the road where that deadly crash happened, it's still closed tonight as investigators try to figure out exactly what caused that collision that left three people dead. And the damage left behind will take hours to clean up. I News reporter N.J. Burkett live at the scene in South Brunswick with the very latest. Newt. Yeah, no question about that tonight, Bill. The intersection is Route 1 North at Ridge Road. It happened at 930 this morning. As you can see behind me, it is still a very active scene tonight. Route 1 North, Bill, is now backed up a considerable distance. The highway is scorched and badly damaged, and the victims are still pinned inside the charred wreckage of their minivan. The tractor trailer came to rest along the northbound lanes of Route 1. Beneath it, a minivan carrying two developmentally disabled adults and their driver. The crash left a trail of car parts for two football fields. This was the scene seconds after the crash. The two vehicles engulfed in flames. The fire too intense to save anyone inside the minivan. South Brunswick no. Deputy Police fire. Chief Jim Ryan. The fire was intense at the time everyone arrived. There was no there was no opportunity to be able to. The impact was significant. It pushed it almost 200 yards from the intersection. So there was no opportunity. Alex Vasquez works in a nearby hotel and captured the flames on his cell phone. Boom, 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 boom. And I look outside the window. I seen a lot of cop cars and stuff, you know. And then I look to the left. I see a huge, lots of flames going up. The driver of the tractor trailer survived and was treated for mostly minor injuries. The van was operated by Community Options, a Princeton-based firm that assists developmentally disabled with day programs and provides transportation to them. The organization provided a statement on video this afternoon. Our heart goes out to the two people with severe disabilities who we've supported and to the staff person. Our prayers are with their families and all of their loved ones. The northbound lanes of Route 1 were shut down all day. The medical examiner will need to remove the victims as accident investigators continue to examine the wreckage and surveillance video to determine the cause of the crash. You don't even have a theory as to how it happened. No, the traffic investigators here, both the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office, they'll be the lead in it. They'll make the final determination as to what happened here. Well, what they know so far is that the tractor trailer was traveling north on Route 1. The minivan was moving through the intersection and may have been struck broadside. A portion of the highway will need to be repaved. I told you it's scorched and badly damaged. It will be closed for the next several hours. The names of the victims have not yet been released. I'm told the passengers in the minivan were in their 20s and again, severely disabled. Live tonight, South Brunswick, New Jersey, NJ Burkett, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.